What's up guys, it's your boy Dama. Welcome back to Dama Up Cuz. Before we get into the video, man, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to join the ride and be with your boy Dama. <sighs> I never really wanted to make this video. I never thought I would be able to make this video. Or I thought I would never make this video ever this season. But what in the world is going on with the Brooklyn Nets, bro? Like, if you know me, if you know me, I'm a big Brooklyn Nets fan. Right. I'm a I'm a good I'm a big Brooklyn Nets fan. I love the Brooklyn Nets ever since the Brook Lopez days, bro. And when I heard the news that we were getting Kyrie and KD, I was like, yo, we finna be the greatest team of all time. You know? Oh, uh, but was I uh very mistaken. We we looked horrible. We we're looking we we're looking pretty bad. Um you know, the first game of the season was against the Warriors. The Warriors, you know, at that time weren't that, you know, they were looking trash, bro. They, Kelly Oubre was just shooting, just running. Uh, Stephen Curry was struggling. I mean, he's not now, but, hey, that team's looking pretty nice now. But one thing that I'm, I'm really, one thing I saw, I peeped at, on the first game of the season is that yes we have good offense yes we have good defense but as the season went on i saw like yo where, what's the perimeter defense like interior defense is okay but where in the world is our perimeter defense because tonight shea had 31 of them things Bruh. 11 for 16 shooting that's uh i think 68 percent two for four from three Six rebounds, seven to six. Bro was eating. Who in the world was guarding Shea? Because who, who was guarding him? Because I know, I know Shea isn't a quote unquote shooter, but he can get past you because he's fast and he can get to that rim. What was Jared Allen doing? What was DeAndre Jordan doing? Really, what has DeAndre Jordan been doing except catch a few lobs in the first game and that's it? Um, and I'm not even going to stray away and frack about Steve Nash. Steve, yes, as much as I do love Steve Nash, Steve Nash hasn't put out the best rotations, hasn't put out the best lineups Um, that would be logical for the situation. I remember in like a clutch a uh, few games ago, I forgot what game it was. He had like four guards out there. I'm like, bro, why, why do you have four guards when you need to get this rebound? Why not put Jared Allen and DeAndre Jordan in? Why not? Or why do why put in four guards who are shorter than everybody else on the court or as equal height and they don't have the wingspan as everybody else? Why do I do that, Steve Nash? I mean, Steve Nash, I love Steve Nash. You know, one of my favorite players of all time, but dude, what are you doing? And um, I haven't seen him say that Kevin Durant is going to be, uh, what you call it? Um, playing all five positions. I haven't seen that yet. Just saying. Um, moving on to Kyrie. You know, Kyrie is doing Kyrie things. Bruh. Um, I don't know if this is Kyrie trying to show that you need me to succeed, or because I remember against the Sixers a few games ago, we were fine without KD and Kyrie. We were amazing, right? We we had Karis LeVert doing his thing. We had Joe Harris doing his thing. We had um, Jared Allen doing his thing. We had everybody on the court doing their thing without KD and Kyrie. Now, I don't know if it's the egos of KD and Kyrie clashing together or if it's just one individual player doing this. Um, I know Kyrie said he's out on quote-unquote personal reasons. I don't know what that personal reason is. I don't think anybody knows except Kyrie himself. Um, I know this is just like a tangent, but I just need to let it out. The team right now, we're worse than the we're worse than the Knicks. The Knicks to me are a very good team right now with Julius Randle playing how Julius Randle is, um. But I just never expected us to be this bad to start off the season. Um, <clears throat> the 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 Knicks got blown out, which was by the Nuggets. That's very uh expected, you know, with Yoki just play, but. I'm digressing. Moving back to the topic. I mean, Brooklyn, bro. We were projected to be one of the best teams in the league, you know. And I feel like 
that we aren't the best team in the league. We aren't. That's that's the Lakers right there. The Lakers are the best team in the league. The Lakers doing their thing. They're like seven and three. I just feel like there was so much hype around it. And I'm not going to say I wasn't on the hype train. I was on that hype train because I'm like, yo, we finna be the best team in the league, man. Karis LeBert, Spencer Dinwiddie, boom. Spencer Dinwiddie gets hurt. <laughs> uh, tears it, my Partially tears his ACL. is probably out for the season. Kyrie is doing Kyrie things. Kevin Durant is just doing Kevin Durant things. Kevin Durant just wants to play basketball. And I see, shoot, he playing basketball. It's Karis LeBert kind of forcing up shots. Um, Joe Harris missing shots, Jared Allen doing Jared Allen things, DeAndre Jordan just being there. So, um, should I see some trades? Maybe. And now I do I know what trades that should be put together? Obviously not. But dude, my team is just bad. We're just bad now. Like I'm just really sad, bro. I'm really sad. I'm not switching teams. Like, the Brooklyn Nets, I'm like, Brooklyn Nets are my favorite team final ever of all time. I feel like, and I know this isn't just going to go on for the entire season. I hope not. I know for sure that we're going to pick it up. I, I, I don't know if it's chemistry problems. I don't know if it's defensive problems. I don't know if it's because of Steve Nash. Whatever it is, whatever it is, um... I hope we pick it up uh, later on in the season and that we uh, we do good, man, because I'm really worried for my team. And, and I wanted to make the playoffs. I want to make the playoffs. I want to win the finals. But by the looks of it right now and the way we're playing right now, it looks like we're not going to be playing in the finals or the playoffs. Um, there's like 61 games left in the season. So... Uh, in those 61 games, we need to win a lot. We need to win a lot of those 61 games that are left. I'm not going to go out on a whim and judge us just by one game. Um, I made that mistake plenty of times. Um, so, yeah, man. I just really need to, like, think about this more. Get it get it ready. Know about it. Woop -de -woop -woop, you know what I'm saying? Because I never really wanted to make a video on this. So, yeah, man, uh, let me know your thoughts about uh, the Brooklyn Nets right now in the comments below, man. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I know this was really just a tangent of pointless things, but I hope you listen and just hit the like button because how can you like the video and not like it? Peace out, 100.